guys, ladies, boys, girls, and furry pets in your lap. How are y'all doing? Welcome to a beautiful summer day here in the wonderful state of Maine. I am doing some uh, campground camping. As a matter of fact, my uh, nice friends Renee and Monique, who let me mooch dock on their property outside of Portland, I decided to take them out to a campground. So they're camping next to me here, and we're going to spend a couple days out here at a nice campground with uh, partial hookups and do some camping together. It's a nice uh, nice place out here. It is not waterfront, but uh, they do have a pool over there, so I may go check out the pool. I am ready to combat mosquitoes tonight. Let me show you what's going on over here at my table. That's right, we're going tiki torches, guys. Uh, just trying something new here. I've got two of the bamboo tiki torches. I've got two tabletop tiki torches. I've got my citronella candles, which I've used in the past. These work great. And then I got a big thing of the uh, tiki torch fuel for all of these. And for my shower later, I am going to use this handcrafted tea tree citronella soap. Uh, some viewers, uh, Mike and Joe, sent me this, so I'm going to bathe with this and see how that does as well as my 25 DEET. Actually, I am not going to use this tonight. Tonight, we're not using the spray. We are going to go just candles and citronella and soap and see how we do with just that. Okay. Also, you might notice my awning is got a little different setup than usual. Since we're going to be here a few days, I have removed the arms from the side of the RV and I have brought out to the ground and then staked down with stakes so that this entire thing won't move. I don't do it too often. Essentially what it does is it keeps the bar that's usually at a diagonal thing right here. It keeps me from being clotheslined by that in the middle of the night not seeing it. So it just opens up the space a little more. Like I said, I don't ever do it for just one night, but if it's for multiple nights or if I'm parked in the desert and something, I might set it up this way. So we'll see how that works then. Uh, also, you know, I don't do a whole lot of KOA campgrounds well, campgrounds at all. I don't, I don't like RV parks, but I do have to come to a place like this once a week anyway on the road just to empty the trash and the tanks and get water, propane, and that kind of stuff. So uh, the few times I've done it, though, I, I asked them, where's the dumpster? Well, there actually isn't a dumpster in this camping loop. So I've got my garbage pinned right there, but each morning before 10, you just put your garbage out by the road, and they come and pick it up, like, like, like room service, you know? Oh, okay. It's nice to camp in the trees, though. This is probably the warmest day that I have spent in Maine. We actually hit 80, 80 degrees. I think it's going to be 82 here later. So the warmest day in Maine. There's still a lot of summer left in Maine. Still a lot. Hey, real quick note to self. I believe I am allergic to citronella on my skin. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what the candles do to me as far as the candle smoke and stuff. But that citronella soap made me itch like crazy. I had to go take another shower and, and scrub with Dawn to get the citronella off of my skin. I was literally scratching and itching every part of my body. It was very strange. Um, but now I know. Don't, uh, don't use citronella soap, Eric. Yeah. Before I forget, remember last winter when I was in uh, Panama City, Florida, and I talked about the recall? for the kitty fire alarms. I've been using the canned ones. I still have two canned fire extinguishers, but they finally did make a, well, one change, and that is to give us a smaller form factor fire extinguisher that fits in RVs that has a metal handle. So remember, just one more warning, if you have any kind of kitty fire extinguisher for an RV that has a plastic handle, probably 99% chance you have a recalled uh, fire extinguisher. So. Got that one, uh, good to go. Now I have a total of three fire extinguishers in the RV right now, which is not overkill. Um, one day I believe I may be driving around somewhere and somebody may have an engine fire or something and I'll be able to pull over. Not many cars travel with fire extinguishers, but truckers and RVers, we do. So I may be able to uh, save somebody's vehicle or somebody's life at, at one time. And it's important to have backups to backups to backups, right? Yeah. What does Jax think about fire extinguishers? I don't, I don't really care, Dad. Okay. Here comes the food. Here comes the food. Oh, yeah. Why was I singing the wedding song for food? I don't know. Been cooking for the last hour. I slaved away at this meal. Get 
It has 24 grams of protein in this, guys. Come on. <laughs> I got some uh, firewood. There's no burn ban here in Maine, so I uh, purchased some firewood from the KOA office, and they delivered it personally right to my site. It's pretty cool. Look, guys, hood. I got $20 worth of hood right there. Pretty light and dry. I don't know how long it'll last, but I am happy for a real campfire. It's been a while. Oh, and Renee's getting ready to uh, set up his bug shelter here. Let me show you. So it had occurred to me that since my body seems to not like the citronella soap uh, directly on my skin, that how come this stuff doesn't have the same effect? This doesn't bother me at all, sprayed all over me. Um, down below it talks about the active ingredients. It doesn't say anything about citronella. It says DEET, 25%, other ingredients, 75%. <laughs> Thanks, guys! So... Uh, I would imagine there's some form of citronella probably in that 75% of other. <laughs> I don't think uh, all labels are held to the same standards as uh, food. <laughs> I don't think you could get away with saying it's 25% this and 75% of eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's been a while since I've actually had a real campfire with wood. Been doing my propane. Uh, I smell campfires all over this campground. Getting ready for the... Uh, nightlife here. Girls doing some tie-dye work over there, fun little activities. And uh, over here inside the net are my friends Monique and Renee and their three puppies. Say hi guys. <laughs> We're gonna clean up a little bit over here and then I'm gonna be getting ready to uh, light some candles and get a fire going myself. I don't know if you can see the fog developing out here. I mean, there is some smoke, but most of this out here is all fog here in Maine. It's creepy. Kind of struggling to keep this fire going here. I think the wood may be a little wet. Don't think it's quite seasoned as advertised, but I am happy with what the citronella candles are doing around here. It's hard to tell because I'm not getting bitten by mosquitoes, but we're also not by a big wadi of water. Um, so it's hard to tell, but I like it. It's kind of cool. Um, works better than bug spray so far. Getting a little saturated and uh, wet this next morning here. Actually, it rained all night. We are experiencing some thunder and lightning occasionally throughout the park, and most everybody is just uh, staying inside today. Quite a dramatic change from yesterday, though. There's some more thunder. Ooh. Oh, man. I don't mind, though. Got to keep all the uh, greens green around here in Maine and looking pretty. So um, we'll just do indoor activities. Actually, today I'm probably going to be editing all the stuff I did filmed yesterday. Uh, just want to wish you all a, a good day. I'm going to stay inside and be back to some more adventures in Maine in my next video. So stay tuned, guys. Have a good day. Bye, guys. <laughs>